be simple building blocks they don't know anything about the bigger world around them you can build our entire universe you can build the kind of complexities we see in us so like we think like god is like uh, designing every little aspect or whatever of our world or a simulation hypothesis physicists at oxford university have mathematically proven that our universe cannot be a simulation and it all comes down to quantum mechanics that's right groundbreaking research has revealed a fundamental barrier that makes it mathematically impossible for our entire reality to be running on some advanced computer program. In 2017, theoretical physicists Zohar Ringel and Dmitry Kovner published a revolutionary paper demonstrating that the quantum properties of our universe could never be reproduced by any classical computer, no matter how advanced. This isn't speculation, it's hard mathematics. You've probably heard Elon Musk's famous statement on Joe Rogan's podcast. The argument for simulation is quite strong, we're most likely in a simulation. It's a compelling idea that's captured the imagination of millions. But what if he's fundamentally wrong? What if we now have definitive proof that our reality isn't artificial? Today, we'll explore the mathematical impossibility of simulating quantum physics, the groundbreaking experiments confirming these limitations, and why this discovery changes everything about how we understand our existence. We'll reveal exactly why the quantum nature of our universe creates an insurmountable barrier for any civilization attempting to simulate reality as we know it. Just consider this. Experts calculate that simulating a single human brain would require at least 10 to the power of 21 operations per second. Now multiply that by 8 billion people, add in the rest of the physical universe, and you get a computational requirement that's utterly astronomical. But the computing power problem isn't even the biggest issue. As we're about to see, quantum mechanics presents an even more fundamental obstacle that no amount of processing power could ever overcome. Simulation theory explained. Before we dive into the quantum evidence, let's quickly understand what simulation theory actually claims. Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom formalized this idea in 2003, arguing that one of these scenarios must be true. Advanced civilizations either go extinct before developing simulation technology, have no interest in running ancestor simulations, or we're almost certainly living in one of their many simulations right now. The math is straightforward. If advanced civilizations could create millions of simulated realities, then statistically, we're more likely to be in one of those millions of simulations than the single base reality. MIT physicist Max Tegmark puts it this way, if technology continues to advance, then future computers would be so powerful that they could run simulations indistinguishable from reality. Simulations so detailed they include conscious beings who don't realize they're in a simulation. You've seen simulated worlds in movies like The Matrix or Free Guy, but actual quantum reality behaves nothing like these clean digital environments. In films, simulations follow precise rules. In quantum physics, particles exist in multiple states simultaneously until measured and can be entangled across vast distances instantly. Can you spot the fundamental flaw in simulation theory? Comment below what you think makes it impossible to simulate our universe. Let's talk sheer computational power. Hans Moravec from Carnegie Mellon University calculates that simulating just one human brain would require between 10 to the power of 14 to 10 to the power of 21 operations per second. For context, that's more computing power than all of today's supercomputers combined, just for one mind. Now multiply that by billions of people, add trillions of other organisms, and factor in all the quantum interactions throughout the universe. The computational requirements become truly astronomical. But here's what simulation theorists never accounted for. Quantum mechanics contains mathematical properties that make it impossible to simulate. And this is where the real bombshell evidence comes in. If you're fascinated by how quantum physics is revealing the true nature of our reality, hit subscribe now. We break down mind-bending scientific discoveries every week that you won't find explained anywhere else. Quantum computing barrier. Now let's get to the bombshell research that changes everything we thought about simulation theory. In 2017, theoretical physicists Zohar Ringel and Dmitry Kovner from Oxford University and Hebrew University published a groundbreaking paper in Science Advances titled, 
quantize gravitational responses, the sign problem, and quantum complexity. What they discovered wasn't just interesting, it was revolutionary. They mathematically proved that no classical computer could ever accurately simulate quantum systems due to what's called the sign problem in quantum physics. Here's the simple version. In quantum mechanics, particles exist in superposition, multiple states at once, until measured. When we try to mathematically model these states, we get what physicists call negative probabilities that create computational nightmares. As the number of particles increases, the computational resources needed don't just increase linearly or even exponentially, they grow at a rate that would overwhelm any conceivable computer. Even adding just a few hundred particles makes the simulation computationally impossible. Quantum entanglement makes this even worse. When particles become entangled, they share information instantaneously across any distance. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance, and it's another phenomenon that defies classical simulation. Some argue that a quantum computer could simulate our universe, but here's why that's mathematically impossible. A quantum computer would need more qubits than there are particles in the universe just to simulate a tiny fraction of our reality. It's a computational paradox. You can't build a machine bigger than the universe to simulate the universe. Pause the video now and guess which quantum property creates the biggest barrier to simulation. Is it superposition, entanglement, or quantum tunneling? Got your answer ready? It's actually quantum entanglement. The interconnected nature of entangled particles creates what physicists call exponential complexity, a computational nightmare that grows faster than any computing system could possibly handle. The mathematical proof is compelling, but the experimental evidence makes it even more definitive. Experimental confirmation. The mathematics looks devastating for simulation theory on paper, but what about real world experiments? Recent breakthroughs have moved this from theoretical impossibility to experimental fact. In 2019, Google achieved what they called quantum supremacy using their 53 qubit Sycamore processor to perform a calculation in 200 seconds that would take the world's most powerful supercomputer 10,000 years to complete. This wasn't just a faster computer. It demonstrated fundamentally different physics. The quantum processor utilized superposition and entanglement to explore multiple computational paths simultaneously, something no classical computer can ever do, regardless of its speed or size. Nobel Prize-winning physicist Roger Penrose put it perfectly, quantum mechanics cannot be simulated by a classical computer. The very nature of quantum reality involves mathematical structures that are fundamentally unsimulatable. Since Google's breakthrough, we've seen even more dramatic confirmations. In 2020, Chinese researchers achieved quantum advantage using photonic quantum computing, manipulating light particles to solve problems classical computers simply cannot approach. IBM hasn't been sitting idle either. Their latest quantum processors are pushing toward practical quantum advantage in chemistry and material science, simulating quantum molecular behavior that classical computers fundamentally cannot model. Some might argue, well, maybe our simulators use some unknown physics beyond quantum mechanics. But this argument collapses when you look closer. Even if the base reality had different physics, the quantum results we observe would still be impossible to generate artificially. Here's why. To simulate quantum effects like entanglement without using quantum physics would require transmitting information faster than light, violating Einstein's theory of relativity you'd need to break one fundamental law of physics just to simulate another. The combination of mathematical proof and experimental confirmation creates an insurmountable barrier for simulation theory. The quantum behaviors we observe cannot be created through classical computation, period. But the implications of these quantum findings go far beyond just disproving simulation theory. The relationship between quantum physics and space-time itself reveals something even more shocking about our reality, and it completely transforms our understanding of existence. Quantum Foundations of Reality The quantum evidence against simulation doesn't just tell us what reality isn't, it reveals what reality fundamentally is. 
recent research points to something far more profound. Our universe may be a quantum information network where relationships between particles are more fundamental than the particles themselves. According to researchers at MIT's Center for Theoretical Physics, what we experience as physical reality might emerge from underlying quantum information structures. This isn't science fiction. It's cutting-edge physics being published in the world's top journals. In classical computing, information exists in binary states, ones and zeros. But quantum information exists in superposition, entanglement, and other states that have no classical equivalent. This fundamental difference changes everything about how we understand reality. Which do you think is more fundamental, matter or information? The answer lies in quantum field theory, which suggests that particles themselves are just excitations in underlying quantum fields. Matter isn't the foundation of reality, quantum information is. This directly addresses one of simulation theory's most persistent arguments. We can't know if we're in a simulation. Actually, we can. The quantum properties we observe couldn't be simulated without access to quantum reality itself, creating a logical paradox for any would-be simulator. Think about it. If you needed quantum reality to simulate quantum reality, then what you're experiencing isn't a simulation. It's fundamental reality itself. The very properties that make quantum mechanics so strange are the same properties that make it impossible to fake. When particles become entangled, they form connections that transcend space itself. These connections create what physicists call quantum non-locality, a property where information seems to travel instantaneously between entangled particles, regardless of distance. Einstein famously called this spooky action at a distance because it defied classical physics. Today, we know this is a fundamental property of our universe that cannot be reproduced without actual quantum processes. The holographic principle takes this even further, suggesting that all the information in our three-dimensional reality might be encoded on a two-dimensional boundary, like a cosmic version of a hologram. This revolutionary idea emerges directly from quantum gravity research at the very frontiers of physics. The quantum evidence against simulation theory doesn't just transform physics, it revolutionizes philosophy. As Oxford physicist David Deutsch explains, quantum theory reveals a reality far stranger and more complex than anything we could have programmed. This quantum reality forces us to reconsider fundamental philosophical questions about existence. MIT quantum researcher Seth Lloyd puts it bluntly, the universe is not a computer, it's much more interesting than that. When we apply Occam's razor, the principle that the simplest explanation is usually correct, the simulation hypothesis crumbles, which is simpler, that our reality evolved naturally according to quantum principles we can observe and test, or that some super advanced beings created an unfathomably complex simulation requiring more computing power than could possibly exist. Consciousness presents another insurmountable barrier for simulation theory, the hard problem of consciousness, how physical brain processes create subjective experience, becomes exponentially harder in a simulation scenario. Several quantum cognition theories suggest consciousness may be intimately connected with quantum processes in the brain. Researchers at CERN have noted that quantum coherence appears in biological systems at scales that shouldn't be possible according to classical physics. As neuroscientist Carl Friston observed, the quantum properties of consciousness present computational requirements that exceed what any classical system could process, simulated or otherwise. Even if consciousness could theoretically be simulated, a major if that many neuroscientists dispute, the quantum properties it exhibits would be mathematically impossible to reproduce in a classical system. The computational requirements increase exponentially with each additional conscious entity. Imagine trying to simulate billions of conscious minds, each requiring quantum level precision. No computer system, regardless of its sophistication, could handle this complexity. French physicist Bernard Espagnat captured this beautifully. The implications of quantum mechanics force us to consider that reality is not algorithmic. It cannot be reduced to computation. This quantum perspective offers something profound. Our consciousness and reality appear to be fundamental features of the universe, 
not artificial constructs. The evidence suggests we're not characters in someone else's game. We're integral parts of a quantum reality far more fascinating than any simulation could be. Why this matters. Beyond the fascinating science, there's a profound reason why debunking the simulation hypothesis matters. It completely transforms how we view our existence and responsibilities. Simulation theory can lead to a nihilistic worldview. If nothing is real, why should anything matter? As research published in the Journal of Behavioral Psychology demonstrates, individuals who believe they live in a simulation report higher levels of detachment from reality and lower levels of empathy toward others. Believing our world isn't real can become a convenient escape from addressing urgent challenges. Climate change, income inequality, global conflicts. If none of it is real, why bother solving these problems? The quantum evidence revealing our fundamental reality offers something far more empowering. Our actions, choices, and relationships aren't just artificial constructs. They're genuine aspects of our quantum reality with real consequences. How would your approach to life's challenges change if you knew with certainty this reality is fundamental? Would you engage more deeply? Take more responsibility? Think about it. This isn't just philosophical musing. Quantum physics gives us a framework for understanding existence that embraces complexity and interconnection rather than artificial simulation. The quantum entanglement that makes simulation impossible also suggests we're fundamentally connected in ways we're only beginning to understand. Recent experiments at quantum research facilities around the world continue to confirm what the mathematics already tells us. Our reality exhibits properties that cannot be artificially produced. From quantum random number generators to tests of Bell's inequality, every experiment points to the same conclusion. The simulation hypothesis represents a modern version of Descartes's evil demon, a thought experiment about whether we can trust our perceptions. But unlike Descartes, we now have the scientific tools to address this question empirically. The quantum evidence is clear. Our universe cannot be simulated. The mathematical and experimental proof shows we exist in base reality, with all its wonder and complexity. This doesn't mean our universe isn't mysterious or that consciousness is fully understood. Quite the opposite. It means we're part of something genuinely profound, not just lines of code in some cosmic computer. Instead of retreating into simulation fantasies, we can embrace the extraordinary quantum reality we actually inhabit. And that makes everything, our challenges, our triumphs, our connections, infinitely more meaningful. If this quantum revelation changed how you see reality, subscribe and turn on notifications. Next week, we'll explore how quantum entanglement is revolutionizing our understanding of consciousness itself, and you won't want to miss it.